In this video, you will learn how to perform mid-surfacing in ANSYS Design Modeler. Mid-surfacing takes solid parts and produces surface parts. This enables you to use shell elements instead of solid elements. Typically there are far fewer nodes and elements for surface models than for solid models and solid elements. Thin solids are better solved as mid-surface models. They solve more quickly and may be more accurate. Here I have a geometry in parasolid form, composed of solid parts. I'll measure the thickness of one of the solid pieces of the model. I'll use this thickness as a reference when I do my mid-surfacing. To perform a mid-surface operation, I'll select Mid-Surface from the Tools menu. Here, I have the option to select surfaces manually or automatically. To select surfaces automatically, I need to set the minimum and maximum selection threshold. Now that I've measured my geometry, I can specify a safe range to detect surfaces. I'll enter 0 .002 for the minimum and 0 .02 for the maximum. Next, I'll double-click Find Face Pairs and then click Generate to complete the mid-surfacing. You can see now that I have 16 bodies. The last group represents the three pieces of the bottom. I'd like them to be at the same level as these other bodies, so I'll explode the group. The model is now ready for connection at the geometry level or in the mesh. That concludes this demonstration of mid-surfacing in Design Modeler.